Hello YouTube, what is going on? My name is Tyler and this is your Movie Fix. This is going to be a rather special episode of uh, a little bit of movie news. Every once in a while you see things that are so damn stupid on the internet that you just have to talk about them. And so the latest and greatest thing that I'm going to be talking about today is something that I didn't really plan on making a video about initially, but I keep seeing it coming up and up and up, and I just can't stand seeing this kind of information, this misinformation going around on the internet, and uh, it's just another one of the crazy dumb fan theories out there. This current one is that Ben Affleck is not playing Bruce Wayne in Batman v Superman. Oh boy. This movie has been plagued with rumors from the very beginning. From this movie actually being an Injustice movie or even a Kingdom Come, to Bat Drones patrolling Gotham City in place of Batman, one woman actually being Kryptonian and related to Supergirl, Matt Damon as Aquaman, and to Doomsday, Mr. Mixelplex, Sinestro being buddies with Lex Luthor, every villain in the DC Universe apparently making a cameo and showing up in this movie, the list goes on and on and on. Pretty early in the production of this movie, they decided to have a media blackout. From the moment this movie was conceived at Comic-Con in 2013, just constant and constant rumors were flowing out every day, and then after they announced that, uh, pretty much everything stopped, nobody had anything to go on, and they know if they were putting things out, it was just gonna be total bullshit. And there was even a guy that wrote a fake script, an entire fake script that all of these movie, these credible movie websites were grabbing their news from and posting from this entirely fan-made fake script for an entire movie that he had been feeding these news websites for months. But apparently someone has even topped all of those other levels of stupidity. So there's an article going around on Movie Pilot, which... I initially thought was a reputable news source, or at least somewhat reputable, I never would have guessed they'd put something out like this. And the author of this article is going on to state that Ben Affleck is not really playing Bruce Wayne. He is playing Batman, but he is not Bruce Wayne. And the gist of it is that he believes that Christian Bale is coming back as Batman, and he will be showing up at the end of this movie, and they're actually saving re the real Batman for Justice League 1 and 2. This is the biggest, most convoluted crock of shit I have ever seen. It's not so much that this is an article about a movie that a lot of people care about, it's it's more of the fact that this is, this is a pretty big website that puts out uh, news that a lot of people are reading, and for them to put out this kind of information uh, is just awful, awful journalism, and I can't, I can't even begin to imagine how a guy like that can even get a job for a website like this, putting out this insanely huge article from a he said she said thing this isn't even his original idea he's getting this he's getting this news this big plot this big plot twist that's supposed to be comparable to you know Darth Vader being Luke's father he's getting it from some other brazilian news author who happens to have all this inside hollywood information which is just insane this guy is pulling you know, there, there's reaching for things. You you can reach for things, but this guy is reaching at the fucking quantum level for bullshit. And I just want to talk about a couple of his points that prove his theory that Christian Bale is actually coming back. Very early on in this article, the guy goes on to say that Christian Bale was offered $50 million to come back as Batman. And this was a rumor that was going around at, at, the, very, at the very moment that the movie was announced. Back in 2013, like three weeks after Man of Steel was released at Comic-Con when they said this movie's coming out, a week or two later, all the shit started coming out that Christian Bale was given $50 million to come back as Batman. People lost their minds. I just want to set one thing straight. That never happened. Never. He was never offered any dollar amount to come back as Batman. Maybe something behind closed doors. Nothing that would have ever been released publicly. This was a rumor that was taken out of context and turned into something that it wasn't. This was another he said, she said that was taken from some guy's book and it was a hypothetical what if he was offered or if this was to happen, they would have to, if, in order for him to come back, they would ha have to offer some insane number like $50 million. Now, I want to say that I am a big fan of the Dark Knight trilogy. I'm a fan of Christian Bale's Batman and his Bruce Wayne but those movies are dead. In case you didn't know, I'm sorry to tell you, those movies are done. They're, they're their own thing. It's an isolated, self-contained universe of movies, and they're done. They are not related to Henry Cavill's Man of Steel, Zack Snyder's movies. These have it, Those movies have nothing to do with what is going on, so no, there is no chance in hell that Christian Bale is coming back 
as Batman. It gets even more stupid as the article goes on, and his evidence is supported by things like this. John Blake, the guy in Dark Knight Rises, played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, he's going on to say that he is actually the Joker in these new movies, and that Jared Leto is playing the same character that Joseph Gordon-Levitt was. This goes into a another stupid theory about Jason Todd is actually the Joker in these movies. What they're basically saying is that at the end of the movie, it's revealed that John Blake's real name is Robin, and that he goes into the Batcave and blah, blah, the movie ends and that's that. And it left a lot of people thinking that, oh, he's Robin, he becomes Robin. Let me just, another thing, Robin in the comic books, everybody knows the character, Batman's sidekick. He's, his name is not Robin. He was, his full name is never Robin. There's five or six different Robins. None of them are named Robin. Robin. They have their own real names. That's the superhero alias. So know that John Blake thing. He was not meant to be Robin. It was a little itty bitty Easter egg and Christopher Nolan has gone on to say this, that that was just an Easter egg, a tip of the hat to the fans, nothing else. He was not Robin. The movie ended in a way where you're supposed to believe that this guy takes on the mantle of Batman and that's it. Those movies are done. That's its own thing. It was an interesting ending for what Christopher Nolan's movies were. It's just insane to, to even think that Jared Leto and Joseph Gordon-Levitt are playing the same character. And he even goes on to put on comparisons that look how similar they are and, and looks wise. And it's just, I've never seen such stupid shit in my life. Uh, this little golden nugget kind of made me laugh that he's actually saying that it's not Batman v Superman. The, the V doesn't stand for versus because if it was versus they would just put VS. No, he, he goes on to say that this is actually Batman 5, Superman Dawn of Justice. This is what he really said. The V stands for 5. As in, Batman Begins is 1, Dark Knight 2, Dark Knight Rises 3, Man of Steel 4, and Batman 5. This is really, this is what a guy legitimately believes. I just, I, I don't understand. And I don't know where he's pulling this shit from. Who is this guy claiming that Ben Affleck is actually playing? He's going on to say that Ben Affleck is actually playing Deathstroke. Slade Wilson, who is not Bruce Wayne, he's not even a good guy. He is a, a villain in DC Comics. Um, anybody who is a fan of DC Comics or comics in general, a lot of people know him. He was also in Teen Titans, known as Slade. I, I can't, I just, I don't understand where he's trying to pull this shit. And it's supported by... We, he's, he's saying that, that Ben Affleck is playing Batman, but he is not playing the Bruce Wayne Batman and that it's Slade Wilson Batman because in, in one comic, you know, some years ago, Deathstroke was taking over the role of Batman for whatever reason. That apparently supports this for, for no reason. Also, Alfred is not really Alfred. The guy we see that is Bruce Wayne's butler in the trailer is actually Deathstroke's butler. Some other no-name guy. I can't remember. And he's saying that this is true because in the trailers we never actually hear anybody refer to, to Batman as Bruce Wayne. Because no one physically addresses the, ben, that, the character that Ben Affleck is playing as Bruce Wayne, then he must not be Bruce Wayne because, I don't know, I guess every character in a trailer has to be referred to by their name. Or they could really just be playing anybody. It's just asinine. And he's even going on to say that Jenna Malone, who's rumored to be in this movie, is really playing Deathstroke's daughter and not whoever she is. We don't know who she's playing. There's plenty of rumors going around that she's actually Barbara Gordon or uh, Carrie Kelly, who was also a Robin. Um, but this guy is going on to say that she's playing Deathstroke's daughter and a whole bunch of other just asinine shit. I just... And he's saying that this is backed up by the scene in the trailer where we get Bruce Wayne. We see Bruce Wayne looking at the, the buildings and it's the scene at the end of Man of Steel. The buildings are going down. We see him yelling on the phone and he's going, he is saying what's really happening here. And this is his inside information that he knows that that is Deathstroke. Ben Affleck is Deathstroke on the phone with Bruce Wayne. And he was telling him about Superman attacking the city and that he told his family to go take refuge in the Wayne Financial Building. And it gets knocked down, and that's why he's running into the rubble to go save his daughter, Deathstroke's daughter. And it's not really Bruce Wayne just saving a kid because he's a good guy, because why would he do that? A couple of things really need to be made clear. Zack Snyder has a, a deep respect for all the characters in his movies. He, he knows the source material, he knows these characters, Batman, Superman, any of the Watchmen, uh, even Leonidas, a, any of the DC characters. This guy has been a fan for life. He would not bother. To, to take up this offer to make this movie, if he would have known, he would have been taking a steaming pile of shit on Batman's legacy. They would not bother putting some no-name guy in the mantle of Batman in one of the biggest movies in history. This movie has been anticipated for going on 
80 years now, since film was around, since comics were around, people have wanted to see these two characters go head to head in a movie. And Zack Snyder simply wouldn't do that. He wouldn't bother. He's going on and on and on in interviews to say how, how what his influences are in this movie. One of the big ones being Frank Miller's Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. And it is very, very obvious that this movie is taking inspiration from that. He's gone on and on and on to say that this movie is not an adaptation of that story, but it draws elements from it. One of those elements being that he is using that version of Batman, but he is not using that story. He's using a slightly younger and is in his mid-40s instead of being 60. But that is the Batman we are getting. He's gone on to say this. He wouldn't dare do something that stupid. Warner Brothers wouldn't do something that stupid. No matter, you know, what your fanboy bias is and what you think of Warner Brothers, they, they are not that dumb. They would not do this to Batman. It's just stupid to even suggest. Another thing, uh, Ben Affleck. He is a humongous Batman fan. He has been all his his entire life. He wouldn't bother. He, he Right now, he's considered one of the best directors. He's, a, he's even a great writer. And ever since he got behind the camera working on movies, he's become an even better actor. If if you can say that he isn't a good actor all you want, just look at his past work and the last five, six years. You can't really deny what he's become now. You know, you can talk about Daredevil, which was 15 years ago. If you do your job for 15 years, you think you're gonna get a little better after that, don't you? And this guy has, you know, he's won Oscars for best picture. That's, that is the, that is the Oscar you want to win. And this guy has done it. And it's a movie that he directed, co-wrote, and starred in. That's that's not something, that's not a little feat. That's a big deal. So Ben Affleck has totally rebranded and renamed himself. He has become something totally awesome in Hollywood. He is a powerhouse. He would not bother to take up a movie like this if he was not playing Bruce Wayne. If, he, if he's just going to be sidelined by Christian Bale uh, one or two movies down the road, he would not bother. He would totally laugh off that notion it would never happen. It just really makes me angry to see this this kind of journalism going around and I just really felt like I had to address this stupidity. Whenever you see articles like this, you have to look around, you have to fact check. These things happen all the time and I know they say there's no such thing as bad publicity. This isn't a matter of publicity. This is a matter of terrible journalism. This should never have been written. This should not be going around. This is just as stupid as a Jason Todd rumor and other news sites actually running with this rumor by some no-name people on the internet and they're taking it as news. They're putting it out as news and that is just, it's not okay. That's, that's so, that sort of thing is not okay. These, this is beyond a rumor. It's really just disappointing. So that's all I really have to say about this nonsense, guys. Uh, if you want more videos like this or movie news, trailer reviews, and movie reviews, be sure to subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this specific rumor or any of the other rumors that are going around or even just what you think of bad journalism and how it's affecting, you know, what people are thinking going into a movie. That's all I gotta say, guys. I will see you on the next one.